Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be taking a tour of my skybox. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. We check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So let's get right into it. So this is the Hoxton Skybox from Scarly Creative. I really just wanted to give you guys an overview of what the place looks like, like fresh out the box and how you can be creative and decorate in a space like this. This um, Skybox comes in a Skybox version as well as the ground version. The only difference is this spot that I'm standing in front of, the little wood plank, is taken out for the ground version. So when you come in, this is like the little balcony area. So this is one space. It's a pretty small skybox. I went from having like super big places to small places. I just like them better because it's just me. So then they have a little walkway and then you have this big open plan space. You guys know I love a good open plan. And then you go upstairs. It is a loft type skybox. So when you come in, you just have this big open space. And then beyond this door is another open space. So let's head over to my spot now. So welcome to my place. So right off the bat, you can tell I changed the floors. So we start in the same space um, that we started on in the unfurnished house. So first things first, I did widen up this space so that I could have more um, area for more space to work with. So I have a little TV here. Um, had lots of nice little goodies here. I took up a lot of the stuff that's out here because I thought about showing you guys at the very last minute. So I have this little lounge area that probably will go in my new place. These are two tables that I put together because this is like a whole buffet style. As you can see, the only thing that's left is this super cute um, drink dispenser, which the drinks are super duper yummy. And then what else is out here is a little like outside dining area. If you are, if you've been in Second Life for any amount of time, then you know that this was one of like the biggest hits from Bazaar was this dining table. Super duper cute. I love this dining table so much. The chairs didn't go with it. These are chairs from just that I bought from a different store for the dining, but this is one of my favorite tables and they go it goes so perfect um with um like outside furniture. So then I also have my last supper painting. I do have lots of black art in my house and that will continue with every single place that I live in. So I really love this piece. It is a statement piece for out here for sure. So we can go ahead and head in. So first things first is I have this super nice bar. Um, got all my glasses set up in here with my liquor, you know, guess to have some liquor. And I have my little water, um, what is this, like a little water art? I don't know what to call it specifically. All of these items are super nice. Some of the items you can get stuff from and then some of them are just for show, but super duper cute. I love this space. This is my little bar area. Then we have more beautiful art. So I got all of this art from an art gallery that I went to. I have a video on it. It's one of my very earlier on videos. It was from um, It's Vamp and love their art. I bought so much art um, at that art show and I've used it all in just about every place that I live in, I have their art. So I have another little cute little cushion with some little items, got my little strawberries with my nail polish for when I'm gonna sit up here and do my nails. Gotta have a little wine, you know, cause wine makes everything better. Nice little, nice little red wine. This is a really comfy couch. I really, really love it. This is one of my favorite spaces. So I have my piano and then I have my plants, but this piece of art right here is by far my favorite piece of art in the whole entire house and this art piece will be everywhere i go i feel like it speaks volumes when it comes to my black culture this is uh something that is very very 
understated like it 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 speaks so many words it's one of those when you know you know type things so this is my absolute favorite piece of art because i feel like it embodies so much of my culture and i just really really love it and it's a really nice pop of color so coming over here in this space, if you notice, in the skybox, the original skybox, it was just a wall. I took this elevator off of another build and I just put it here so that it would have some type of opening because it doesn't have a door to this place. So I felt like having an ele elevator gives the illusion of like you're not just like stuck in one spot. You can go places even when you even though you really can't. So I also have these little book displays and things like that super cute i wanted to have a very lived in yet chic look so i have these little plants here and then on the other side i have another bookcase that has some items in it as well let's look at this bookcase let me back up a little bit so this bookcase i did add a couple of different things to it just so that it looks um just a little different from the other bookcase i didn't want it to look super like matchy matchy um let me show you guys the wall details so i have like the sconces and i carried this throughout um the skybox i carried it throughout the house because i wanted it to have you know symmetry still even though uh, we can have some different things, but I wanted all the light and fixtures to match. Oh, we'll forget under the stairs. So this is what I did for under the stairs because I didn't want to just leave it just like regular how they had it. So I added this little feature to it. I've seen like people who decorate houses, they have done like little under the stairs things. Sometimes they'll have water and stuff like that. So I just did this. This is my very first time attempting it and I feel like I did a pretty okay job. So this space, I made like a little living space. And once again, another beautiful piece of art. Again, I feel like this is very um, synonymous with my culture. A lot of other cultures wear grills, but you know, I, I, I love my people and grills. So I really, really like that piece of art. I felt like it was a good um, statement piece to put when you're like first coming into this space. So I have this really grand fireplace that I put here. And then I added the little um, fireplace accessories just so everything kind of just like made more sense. So because this is the little living area, I have my little couches. I got my little um, blicky upon the floor in this space. So we're not going to look at that. But I have my little magazines with my little ashtray when I want to have a little smoke. Got my little bougie checker set. And with my money counter, I actually got a new money counter because this one acted like it don't want to work no more. So I have my new money counter in my new place. Then I have my little Monopoly game because I love me some Monopoly all day long. So this is a really small sitting space. You have your little side tables and things like that for like little drinks and stuff like that. So I really... um I like that I kept it very simple in this space. I love a good um, open concept, as you guys can see. It really gives me the opportunity to make the space be what I want it to be. So I didn't want to leave the back of the couch just kind of like out. So I added a table in front of it and added these little accessories to it just to make it be a little bit more um fancy if you will i kept the space with neutral colors black white and nudes i just like that so that when you have a little pop of color like the lemons on the table it really stands out so in the dining room space i kept it simple as well for my dining room table the color scheme is pretty much the same in my new place i think i want to have it a little bit more colorful i don't normally do colorful so maybe we'll do something a little different i don't know don't 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 hold me to that so i have these really nice um candlesticks with some nice wine with my little corkscrew for my wine and then i have this really cute uh, centerpiece that is a fire pit super duper nice so i also have more wine and things like that you know i i, lo I love a good drink 
So this right here, this is a concept that they did in the last place. Was it the last place that we visited or the place before last that we visited when we looked at the home that was at the Nest Sunbird, how they have, they had the two tables together. This is not, this is a concept that I use all the time. So I made it into like a really nice credenza with my little um, plants and things like that on top of it just to have it like a little buffet. I wanted it to look like a buffet, but I didn't want to have a lot of food on top. This is another beautiful piece of art that is another statement piece of art that I have in here. And I absolutely adore it. I love all of the art pieces throughout my house. Like I said, they'll be in every single house that I have. So now we can move on to the kitchen. So in the kitchen, I just have a cute little separate eating space. If, if for like, if you don't want to eat at a big old dining room table, you can have like a cute little nook uh, sitting area over here. And we just have nice little place settings with two little chairs. I think these are the same chairs that are, that's at the dining room. Nope, they're not. They're actually different. I think these are the chairs that's out on the, the low deck area. So then I also have more black art that I really, really love. And then I have two mirrors. Now with PBR, the mirrors actually have reflection, but this is like pre-PBR, so it's no reflections, but I really do like it. So going into the kitchen, it's quite a bit in this kitchen. Um, I have a lot of gotcha items and these are the things that I add to my kitchen just to make it very uh, specific to me even though I know a lot of other people have this so we have like a bunch of pears and oranges in here I feel like with the gotcha items it makes it more like you have a better chance of having something that people might not really have in second life fun fact I am a big weekend sale girly so many of the things that I have, I purchased from a weekend sale. If I didn't purchase it from a weekend sale, I pay very little for it because I'm just, I'm not interested in paying a whole bunch of money for stuff in Second Life. I've really been there, done that. So this kitchen was a weekend sale. I think I paid 60 lindens for it. It was from Earthy, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I have another one of their kitchens that I just got recently as well. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not, but I think so. So I have this little dish rack that came from a weekend sale. The soap uh, and sponge did not. The knife set came from a weekend sale as well as the eggs and the coffee maker and all of this stuff came from a weekend sale. So I have my little cappuccino maker with my little egg maker. Cappuccino, like this thing looks, the little mixer looks super duper cute. And then I have my little oven over here. We have just some other items for the kitchen. This garbage can, guess where I got it from? That's right, a weekend sale. Mm -hmm. And what did I get this vacuum from? A weekend sale as well, as well as these spices and the seasonings and the soda stream and these pots all from a weekend sale all from a weekend sale yes i love a good weekend sale got my spices you know i gotta get some more smoked paprika but the regular will do yeah 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 i love a good weekend sale what can i say so moving on to the island i just have my chair here i think the chair that came with this it came with a kitchen and i think that i that kitchen i did purchase um full price this table over here in the little nook weekend sale i think those chairs were from a weekend sale too otherwise they were just not that expensive this refrigerator guess where guess one guess absolutely a weekend sale so we have little drinks in here and then up here cookies from where mm -hmm. yeah you got it you guys getting the hang of it this little food here this little chinese dish with the ramen mm -hmm. you guys know where i got it from the mail is a gotcha item i believe the paper towels are a gotcha item as well as well as the laptop and I used to go to lands where they sell like a bunch of gotcha items. So I have my Reynolds wrap, my Heather wrap from David Heather. And I got that from where? I think it's a gotcha item. This is a gotcha item. Air fryer, weekend sale, pots. Maybe a weekend sale, maybe got it from Bazaar. I don't know. One of the two, but didn't pay much for it. You can have beautiful things in Second Life for cheap. 
refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Weekend sale. Refrigerator fillers. Guess where? Yes, weekend sale. They are actually a mix of canopy fridge fillers as well as Merrick fi uh, fridge filler items, but got them both from a weekend sale. So yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of my weekend sale items if you guys have not noticed already. So let's go ahead and make our way upstairs. Just for reference, pay for this couch, briefcase, gotcha, rugs, weekend sale, table, weekend sales, ball lamp, weekend sales, everything including this item, all of this, weekend sale, gotcha, these two things, all of this on here, weekend sales. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and make our way upstairs. So I text you the floor throughout the house. And yeah, so this is my bedroom. Bed, I got, it was a weekend sale, but I think it was like a new year sale. So yeah, that's what was going on. So I have my little chairs. The chairs are gotcha items. The rug is from a weekend sale as well as the table. And I really, really love this bedroom. These books, we can sell as well as the water. You guys are going to get tired of me saying this, but I really want you to see that you don't have to spend a lot of money to have nice things in Second Life. This, these clothes on the floor, gotcha item. Mannequin, gotcha item. Let me see. What else is over here? Don't worry about that blicky. It's a gotcha item. Let me pan out a little bit. Books and vase gotcha items. That was not. That was like a sale somewhere. Over here on this side. The what was it? This vase. I believe this was this was a gotcha item. No, that was a weekend sale. And the laptop with the phone that is a gotcha item and what's over here oh, oh that's that's personal y'all see y'all trying to be in my business i don't like that so the bed and the nightstand came together and i believe the the ball lamps came with it as well it was like a package deal super nice this i got from earthy this was a weekend sale as well as the lamps and the items on top so all of these are like maybe 60 to 99 lindens maybe these so now we're in like this is my dressing room area bags gotcha items boxes gotcha items from movement this whole entire like modular set I actually paid for this, but it was very reasonably priced. The clothes and all the closets are gotcha items, and the designer bags was a free gift from Viv9. These plants, weekend sale, mannequin head, gotcha item. Mirror gotcha, every single thing on this table, gotcha. We'll go over those individually in a second. So these are my bags. I wear these bags these shoes gotcha items so i love gotcha items as you guys can see it really makes my space very unique because some of these items a lot of these items are rares and so a lot of people didn't get to get their hands on it and that makes me happy because a lot of times you'll see people with stuff and everybody kind of has the same thing so you get to give like a little unique uh, piece of something and these are some older gotchas that now you have to buy the whole pack because everybody, people messed up the gotchas. So these are my items of my little flat iron and my mirrors. All of these shoes, including these shoes, are gotcha items. This stool, um, this stool is from Bazaar, but I think it was a weekend sale, perhaps. I don't know. The chain and the hand were gotcha items. And these designer bags, again, were from Viv9. What do I have up here? All of these are gotcha towels from Merrick way back when, in the good old days, when we can get gotcha items and people weren't trying to cheat people. That's what it was. It was really nice back in the, back in the day. Bag of Viv9. The 
this bag gotcha item from david had their luggage of course these more clothes and they are gotcha items where did i get these clothes from i want to say trace blah but i don't know baskets are not these baskets were actually from bazaar they had magazines in them i took the magazines out of them i detached them and just made them like little tote like little baskets that you could like take out and put stuff in so now let's head over to the bathroom oh more black art yeah 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 love it love it love it grills yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm Plants are not gotcha items. I got them from a store for super duper cheap. I think they might be like 30 lindens or something like that. These little circle pieces, circle art pieces, gotcha item from Craftwork, I wanna say. Love this artwork. The lamp, the light over the lamp were a weekend sale item from, I don't know, it was probably from like a year ago. It was a very long time ago. This is another nice staple piece of art. When I tell you all of these pieces of art, you're probably going to see in my new place because I'm really, really attached to them. I love them. So on to this space. I ended up making this space my bathroom. So when you first walk in, this is what it looks like. I kept the original floors and I just added some little tile pieces in the middle just for a little something different. This case is from Bazaar. These are more Merrick tiles that were gotcha items the laundry hamper is a gotcha item was it yeah it was a gotcha item as well moving over to a space that i made my vanity i actually made this um what is this like the little table piece it's just i think it's like a pram or like a mesh piece i got off of another item more art that i got from um the it's vamp art show art gallery it was their first one not the second one i didn't get a chance to check out the second one i wish i would have because i could have got some more great art um the ball vase is from bazaar the mirror from bazaar this whole little makeup space thing is from bazaar so bazaar stuff is super reasonably priced to begin with so I definitely recommend them if you're starting out in Second Life, you're really just trying to find some places to get some nice items or a decent amount of money, I would recommend Bazaar. So the mirror is, I don't know where I got the mirror from, but it wasn't a lot. The little towel rack here, gotcha item. The sink is from Bazaar. The toothpaste the what is it the toothpaste the deodorant and the toothbrush were all from fancy decor and it was they were weekend sale items this i believe i got it from canopy no bijou yeah i got it from bijou that's what it says i got it from bijou and it was a weekend sale item this air freshener somebody gave it to me it was transferable toilet from fancy decor i had it from way back when it was not a weekend a not a weekend item or a gotcha item but it was very reasonably priced this phone is a gotcha item i want to say david heather but i'm not sure this waste basket is a gotcha item and it is from david heather as well as this sign in the bathroom this tub was not a gotcha item. This tub was from Bazaar. The robe is from, oh, where's this robe from? I forgot what this robe is from, y'all. I forgot what this robe is from. I might put it up when I, if I remember it, um, when I edit it. The towels are from Bazaar. And then this little, in the middle this little bath tray i believe is from it's not from merrick it's the same place that i got the robe from so i'll definitely figure out the name of that place and put it up candles bazaar the bath salts are from merrick the plants both gotcha items from minimal are they from minimal yeah from minimal life fixture gotcha item is that a gotcha yep that was a gotcha item the clothes are from bazaar the i woke up like this rug is a gotcha item 
and the tile floor I forgot where I got it from so this is my sky bias, you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time